Okay, I'm going to show you how to draw a fairly convincing brick texture. All right, first got to delineate the actual individual bricks. The fastest way I've found is to lay in some long horizontal lines, then go back in and draw a bunch of vertical lines one above the other, skipping every other row. Draw a line, skip a space, draw a line, skip a space, skip a space, draw a line, skip a space, draw a line, and so forth. Next, fill in the whole area with a middle value. On a scale of 1 to 8, we're talking like a 3 or a 4, somewhere around there. Now, your shading will be less distracting if you stick with just one direction, even if, yeah, that makes it harder to stay inside the lines. I'd say generally it's worth it. Now, if you left any gaps inside there, make sure you fill those in. Again, we want to get a nice even shade here, so if you have to go back over it a little bit, then do that. Okay, so here's the theory behind what we're going to do. It's a super simple trick of just slapping some shading along two adjacent edges and then adding some highlights along the other two opposite adjacent edges. And voila, you've got 3D texture. It's like magic, like a little button. Boop! So that's what we're going to do to our brick wall. So I'll go in and I'll shade the inside of each brick on the left side. Then I'll go back in and do the same thing for the bottom of each brick, going right up next to those lines that I drew earlier. For the sake of efficiency, I'll shade the left side of each brick first, and I'm just going in with maybe like a two here. I'm not going like full one, just, just making it pretty dark though. But yeah, I'll shade the left side of each brick first, and then I'll go back in and rotate my paper, and I'll shade the bottom of each brick. And it's really important to shade right up next to the line, so that if you have any gaps like that right there, go back in and fix them. Shade it all the way in, nice and nice and dark and even. So by the time I'm done, I've got the left side and the bottom side of each brick shaded. For the highlights, you'll need to erase, and I'll show you three different eraser options that could work for you. I'm going to start with this Tombow eraser, which I absolutely love. They're only like four bucks. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this eraser, and I'll show you some more erasers later. And I'm, going to, I'm highlighting the inside uh, right edge of each brick. And if you don't have the Tombow, then maybe you have a, a nice mechanical pencil, because a lot of the nicer mechanical pencils have these tiny erasers, and they're great for this kind of thing. And if you accidentally erase some of your original lines or your shadows, go and put them back in. Maybe make them even darker. And if you got all that eraser dust on there, don't wipe it off with your hand. You'll just smudge all those beautiful highlights. Instead, grab a paintbrush or, or something. An alternative is to use a plastic eraser like this, and then cut it to give it some fresh, sharp corners. And if you use an imprecise eraser like this, uh, just do your best, and you can always go back in and add more shading to kind of shape the highlight afterwards. And maybe you've got some other ideas, like maybe you have like a brand new uh, regular rubber eraser on the end of your pencil. That might work too. Either way, like I said, you can always go back in and reshape those highlights later with shading. Now I'll go back in and I'll add highlights along the inside top edge of each brick. Now be aware that it's really easy to smudge the highlights with your filthy hand. So start in the upper left corner when you start highlighting, like I'm doing, or of course start in the upper right corner if you're a lefty. Or, you know, rotate your paper or put some paper down as a shield. Well, whatever makes sense to you so you don't smudge the highlights. Now if you end up making really thick shadows and highlights like I'm doing right here, then uh, that's okay, but you might want to think about the shape right there in the corner and use like a 45 degree angle like I'm doing there in the corners. Otherwise, if your highlights and shadows are pretty thin like mine, you can just kind of fudge the corners like I did. Now, when you're done, go back in and reshade any areas that should be dark that you accidentally erased. And maybe go back in and, and touch up with your eraser any areas that should be highlights that you might have accidentally smudged. It can also look nice if you reshape the corners of the bricks up top like this. So instead of a smooth straight line, you actually can see that texture along the top of the wall. And maybe do the same thing inside the wall too. And you might want to swap out the smooth line that defines the bottom of the wall with something more natural like grass or rocks or whatever. And as you add any details, just keep in mind that because we established that the top and right edges of each brick have the highlights, then that suggests that the light is coming from the top right corner. Oh, and blending stumps work great with this sort of thing. Just make sure you point your blending stump towards the highlights so you don't accidentally lose control and smudge them. And there you go. Bricks. Have fun. Thanks for watching.